Hello, my friend. How are you? I hope you're having an excellent day. This is episode number 99. What does that mean? The next one is 100. And today, talking about transitions, and don't get scared, change is actually a great thing. And I'm going to tell you why I think that. Have a listen, let me know what you think, and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Hi, my friends. Welcome. This is the Back to Me podcast, and this is Heather, and I am super excited that you're here. You are going to hear some tips and some tricks and some ideas to help you live your happiest and healthiest self. I call it Back to Me because when you are taking care of yourself, Back to Me, then you can take better care of others, and we can all make the world a better place. This is Wellness Your Way, and I am super happy that you're here. Hello, my friend. How are you? This is Heather. This is the Back to Me podcast. Guess what? It's episode number 99. Whoa. And <clears throat> this Friday is episode 100. When it comes after 99, 100. And um, I'm pretty excited, I have to say. I mean, this is, that's 100 episode 100 of this version of me trying to share things that I think about and things that I think are important and more importantly things that I think will be helpful to you because um, it wouldn't be much use for me to come on here all the time and uh, not give you anything that I think might be helpful for you. So uh, episode 99 here we are and uh, I it's I have a whole bunch of things to tell you today. <laughs> So it's a normal day, isn't it? <laughs> I, I have lots of ideas and they're all coming into my head all at once. But today's episode is about talking about transitions. And this came to me for a lot of reasons. So I haven't said anything up to now for a few reasons because I hadn't told anyone else. But for the past a uh, little over 14 years, I have been a registered massage therapist where I am. And... I came into massage therapy to, and I think I uh, spoke about this in my um, Welcome to Season 2 episode, um, and I'm talk- I was talking about how I wanted to help people and help people be healthier, happier, healthier. And massage was one way to do it, teaching yoga is one way to do it, being a personal trainer is one way to do it, and all of those were the physical wealth. But I will tell you that being a massage therapist is a a physical job and I've been doing it for a little over 14 years and it's been awesome and I have amazing clients and they're super and I had to tell them this week that I'm retiring from massage therapy at the end of this year so that is a big transition like that is that's a career type transition and it's funny because I've done these before a done career transition before. You know, I used to be an accountant. I was a senior director of finance. And then I decided to stop. So uh, transitions are challenging. They're confronting. They bring up all of the things that you maybe don't want to think about or face or address. And I get it. I totally get it. I mean, even during this transition where I decided that I was retiring from massage therapy, it brought up a lot of stuff for me. Um, And I mean, it's different for everyone, but there's a lot of similarities when you're transitioning out of things. And I hadn't announced it to anyone because I was working quite hard at trying to um, have someone purchase my, my practice from me so that I could say, I'm retiring, but here is your new therapist. You know, it's like, uh, (laughs) coming up with a solution as you present to them in their minds a problem. I'm not so foolish to, as to believe that um, no one is irreplaceable. And I'm not so vain to think that I am the the best massage therapist on the planet. I just really liked what I did. And I really liked engaging with my clients. And I will miss them. So there was there's that aspect of it. And there's the aspect of having to tell people who 
have come to, in some ways, depend on you that you're leaving. So that was, um, I'm going to say it, that was pretty stressful for me for a little while, carrying that around and seeing my clients patients and not telling them because I was trying to work on something for them and then when it fell through I said it's time to let them know so I've let them know and um, so when you when you finally make the decision and make it make your declaration out loud a large weight comes off of you and this happened when I left the corporate world I, you know, feeling unhappy, feeling unhappy. And when I finally made the decision, whew, I lost so much, so much weight. Why was I carrying so much stuff around? I don't know. Seemed like uh, it's, you don't notice when you put a little brick at a time on, right? It's like that slow increase you don't notice until one day you think, oh, I'm so heavy. Why is this burden so much? Why don't I just put it down? So I did make that decision. And I have now declared it out loud to everyone who needs to know. And I'm transitioning again into the next thing. And people say, you're retiring. Oh, my God, you can't retire. You know, what about this and this and this? And there will be people who are super excited when you decide to change something. Anything that you decide that you want in your life is on the other side of change. Because... I've heard this quote a lot the last week or two, so it must be a message from the universe. You can't get something new if you keep doing the same thing you've always done. Or a definition of insanity is doing what you've always done and expecting something different. So the only way to get something different in your life that you want is through change. And it could be big changes, it could be little changes. But something about the word change makes us like all crunch up and get tense and start to clench our teeth. And um, I clench my abdomen and clench my toes. And who knows, everybody carries their tension somewhere else uh, or in, in different places. But there is something about change that makes us really uneasy. And I think it's because we don't know. We don't know what's on the other side. The what ifs. What if it doesn't work? What if it does work? What if I was wrong? What if I made a mistake? What if I got there and decided, oh my gosh, that actually was the wrong thing. I want. Can I go back? By the way, you can never go back, even when you decide to go back. Um, uh, just keep your eyes forward. Uh, but the it's tr the the only way to change something is to be curious and to change and to be okay, find a way to be okay with the uncertainty, to be okay with not knowing the answer. Some people are better at this than others. Um, my personality, I'm terrible. <laughs> I fully, I'll hold my hand up. I'm terrible at not knowing the answers. This is the worst, this is one of the worst places for me to live is not knowing the answers. And it's just, just the way my brain works. Um, I I have so many exciting podcast podcast guests coming up for you. By the way, oh my gosh, there's a lady coming on. Mm, I can't remember what her eps when her episode is going to come on. But we were talking about um, strengths, uh, the Clifton strengths, your strength profiles, and um, I so I went back and reviewed my strengths and yeah it's just laid right out there in black and white that I really like to have answers and that's why I have so much information because I'm like I love gathering information but but I've come to realize that I have to find a way personally for myself to be able to sit within that uncertain place and not knowing every answer to be able to create the change that I want in the world. And the change that I want in the world is to help other people create the expansion in their lives so that their lives can be super amazing and awesome. I mean, I love my life. And that doesn't mean I'm not going to keep um, tweaking it and adjusting it and making it that much better and that much better and that much better. I'm super grateful for everything that I have in the life that I lead. And whoa, really, every day I'm just in awe of how awesome life is. 
but I know there's always room for improvement. So I continue working with that uncertainty and that change. And by retiring from massage therapy, it closes that door, but it opens this whole space where I can spend more time focusing on the importance of, for me, the importance of helping people in a new way. I still have that drive, that inner drive to help, but I needed to expand it bigger. And to be able to find that room for expansion, I had to say no to something. So every time you say yes to something, you're saying no to something else. So I had to say no to something to say, to give my full yes to full time into my coaching, which I'm super excited. I have a, I have this program coming in the new year. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about it. But that's that'll be coming later. <laughs> Stay tuned for that one. So transitions. So where do you think, like if you took a serious, now we're coming to the end of the year, this is the perfect time to do this. Take a serious pause and just reflect. Doesn't have to be earth shattering. Just a little reflection on where you are right now. And is there something more you want? Like you, like I said, I mean, I love my life. My life is amazing, but there's more that I want. And I'm going to make some changes. I make, I've made the changes. Oh my God, I stuck my flag in the sand and I said I was retiring so I'm making that change and I'm making that transition and I'm navigating my way through it I have a coach and I have supportive I have supportive peers and um, people that I have around me to help me transition through that when I'm feeling a little when I feel the wobble when I feel the wobble I have I can reach out to people but what so if you looked at your own life hmm what do you think is there something that you only daydream about that you think, oh, I could never, why not? Why not do it? Why not take the leap? Why not try even little baby steps towards it? Even just draw yourself a little map of, well, what if I did this and then made this change and then this change? Because as much as we avoid change, um, yeah, change is part of life. Change is where your growth happens. Change is where you get what you want and where you want to go. And I'm going to invite you during the holiday times because it's can be crazy, but it can also be quiet because people take vacations. Take some time for yourself and do that year end reflection and see, is there a place where you're avoiding changing something that would really help you get what you want? Um, and it doesn't even have to be, like I said, nothing has to be Hollywood epic life shattering, you know, with the big voice man making big, loud, booming crashes. It could just be small. Small is actually easier to sustain than gigantic. Small little increments, like look at, I think about transitions in seasons as well, because we're coming up to the shortest day of the year. Did we notice one day it was suddenly dark? But it wasn't like overnight. It was slowly was getting, the days were getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Then at some point we're going to notice, oh, it's lighter. The days are getting longer and longer and longer. The nature, mother nature knows what to do. Little increments, little increments to make big changes, right? And the other thing that's happening, the other transition that's happening is I'm moving the podcast to only the Friday edition. I mean, it doesn't mean I won't pop on every now and then on a Wednesday and give you my thoughts, but as an, uh, as a going forward, so I can concentrate some more of my time, I have to say no to something and I'm going to say, press pause. It's not a no. I'm pressing pause on the Wednesday edition of the podcast with just me giving me, giving you my thought for the week. But you know, keep your eyes peeled because episodes will just pop up randomly as I'm driven to like, oh my gosh, I just thought of something or I just learned of something and I really want to tell everyone and I'm the boss so I can do that. <laughs> it's great to be the boss, by the way, you get to make the rules. So stay tuned, stay tuned for this Friday's edition, episode number 100 with Dr. Cindy. This episode is so good. She, we're talking about transitions. We're talking about changes and the challenges of changes. Interestingly, hmm how that happen. And while you're waiting for that episode, why not take a moment? Just take a moment for a for yourself and think about 
what, and if, if to, you don't even have to think very far out for the next 20, for 2023, what do you want? What would you like to see in your life? And then what are you going to do to make it happen? Right? Because you've got to be the ignition. I've got love. I've got all the fuel. You need to be the ignition <laughs> to start that fire. And of course, my friend, of course, I don't even, maybe I do need to say this, but I feel like I don't need to say this. If you do want to have a conversation about what you're trying to work on and what you're trying to work towards, DM me, uh, book a meeting with me. It's in the show notes. Uh, send me a message, send me an email. I would love to have a conversation with you. Thank you, my friend. I hope you have a spectacular rest of your week. Remember to tune in on Friday with Dr. Cindy and I will see you soon. Take care. Hi, my friend. Thanks so much for listening to this entire podcast. If you found it useful and you're like me and you like like helping others, please feel free to share this. Just give it a like. Give it a comment. If you found something useful in it, there's a chance that someone else will find something useful as well. Also, if you have any questions at all, I can absolutely help and I would love to help. You can email me at heather at prosperityflowcoaching.com. If you want more of this awesome content, you can follow me on Instagram, Heather Stewart Coaching. You can follow me on Facebook, Prosperity Flow Coaching. And I have a personal request. I want to help as many people as I can with these podcasts. And if you could give me a review, hopefully a good one, <laughs> if you could share, if you could send this out into the world, I would truly appreciate it. I hope you have an amazing day. And I hope that you find your way to wellness by getting back to me. Take care, my friend.